Hello ladies and gents. Today I'm going to be telling you all about the Kayate or the Kayate. Haven't figured out how to say it. Caviar manicure. And what I'm going to be doing is basically showing you how to apply the glass beads. Alright, now in this kit, um, they basically on the, this is the box and they show you exactly how to do it. What you do is you put two coats of the polish on. Um, at, while the second coat, you want to put the first coat on, let that dry. When you put the second coat on, you want to then sprinkle the beads. Then you're going to press them in. Then, when you're done, you want to pour what's left back into your bead bottle 10 to 15 minutes for it to be dry. And then you can enjoy your manicure. So, basically, what comes in the box is going to be this set right here. And basically, it's going to be the um, Kaite Black Polish. And it's in Ghetto Fabulous. And then we have the Caviar Pearls. And... They just call them, they don't have a name, they just call them black. Okay, and then you also have a funnel to help you get everything back in. And then it also comes with this little clear tray that we're going to use to help catch the beads. Um, I'm not going to do a full hand because I have done a full hand before and it can be a pain in the butt. and ready for you. Then what you do is you take the black polish and you're going to paint on a coat of the black polish like so. Make sure you get the whole nail and, and voila. Get it all painted. Then you want to make sure that you Clean off the edges because beads will stick to whatever is wet. So while it's still wet, you want to just pull on the beads like so. Then you want to press to make sure that the beads adhere. And they're on there nice and tight as you cover all of the surface area. Just make sure you leave those tips. Don't worry about pouring out too many beads because you can always reuse them. And then you want to pack, 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 pack it on. Don't be afraid if any if they fall off because those are just extra beads in the food. So then you just wanna pat 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 it on. And then once you've given it a good pat, pat down, then voila. You have your caviar nail. Okay, now you're not supposed to put clear polish on it. So, but you are going to need to seal the edges. So, a 
Okay, so once you get it on there, then you want to take clear polish. I'm going to use Orly Won't Chip. And we want to apply it just to the edge to ensure that the beads don't come off. But yeah, I'm just applying it to the edge of the polish so that they won't come off. And then the excess off my finger. And then voila, we have our caviar manicure on there. Alright, hold on for just a second. I'm going to show you a cheaper alternative so before. Then, what you're going to do to get the beads back in, you just take the funnel, put it in, collect all the beads, kind of give it a little tap, get them out and loose, and then you just pull them back into the tray. And then lift it up. Then you're all done. Beads are back where they need to be, and you still have plenty more for your manicures. All right. Okay. So for my cheap manicure alternative, I'm going to use the same technique, different polish, and I'm going. To Sorry, same technique, yeah, different polish. I want to use the blue polish again. I'm going to pour, I'm going to paint on the nail, making sure to stay in the lines. Do a little clean up. Okay, so again, we're going to paint on the blue polish. Careful not to get too out, far out the lines. We're going to clean up the edge a little bit. I'm going to use some El Cheapo craft store beads. Micro beads got at the store. I'm gonna sprinkle on a little, a little blue, a little black, um, a little silver, and a little clear. Uh -oh. I'm a little overzealous with the clear, but. Um, and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to just press it in. And the bees didn't kind of adhere to the tip of the polish. So I'm going to wet that a little bit. And I'm going to just kind of pick up some beads that I have left over. I'm going to pour them right in the side of the funnel. And then I'm going to just pour them on into the spots that, you know, didn't quite get the treatment. But basically, same thing. Press them on. Make sure they stick. And voila. Craft store beads. Manicure. Does the same thing. Looks the same as this. Maybe not the same mixture. Um, these beads are slightly bigger than these ones. But if you're on a budget and the cost of the kit, which is $25 at Sephora, this may actually work out as a better option for you. Now, I will say this. I love this cat the Kayate set. Love it. However, there are a few downsides to loving this manicure. Um, one is that 
it gets stuck on everything. If you're someone who wears pantyhose regularly, this ain't for you. If you're someone um, who has, or if you have to deal with your hair a lot, it'll get caught up in your hair and everything else. But it is very, it's very nice for special occasions. As you can see with this manicure, I'm just doing like an accent hand. But, you know, you can do more. I would suggest that when you use the craft store bead method that you go ahead and put clear polish, at least a really, really light coat over them so that the beads themselves won't change colors. Um, but on this manicure, I wouldn't do it because they it'll change the texture and the look of it the craft store ones because the bees are slightly bigger you can go ahead and put the polish on it no problem all right i hope this helps guys and enjoy you know your manicure um this is going to be mine for a couple days and then i'll come back and i'll change it um also i do have and this is the rainbow set it comes with the beads. It has the pink polish and the rainbow beads. And they're absolutely gorgeous. But either way, you can't go wrong with this set. I like it. It's going to come and go in the rotation. This is the pink polish. It's called Strawberry Milkshake. Um, you can't go wrong with this set. It's really, really nice. And then there also is a white one that's kind of nice if you're doing the bridal thing. But all in all, love it. Love this set. Um, $25. Not a lot to pay for it. Because um, you can get quite a few manicures out of it. I would say at least the 10 or so with doing all 10 nails. If you're doing accent nails like me, it'll last forever. So, um, hope this helps. Um, by the way, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And check out the bottom bar right down there. And hit me up on social networking. Alright, hugs and kisses. See you later. Bye.